hungry and I'm angry. And the best way to manage their hanger is to eat some spicy food. And Om Nom Chicago on Twitter has been yelling at me forever to get my butt to Logan Square and Furious Spoon. Well, shut up, dude, because I'm already here. Let's get the heat on. Get out of the way, Jordan. Tell us a little bit about the history of the Furious Spoon. My grandfather had a ramen shop in Hokkaido, Japan in the 1960s. So I kind of want to follow his tradition. So the concept is Tokyo style ramen with loud hip hop music. These guys are the first to set precedent with associating hip hop and ramen together. Ramen's very spicy and has that like upbeat style. Music just kind of ties it all together. They go hand in hand. Let's get them this is our spicy episode. So what would be a good spicy ramen dish? Our namesake, it's called the Furious Ramen. We actually make hot sauce with chili, habanero pepper. You just suck it up and it clears out your nasal passages. It might make you angry, that's how spicy it is. I'm ready to bring the heat. Who am I making the noodles with? We got this guy, his name is actually Frankie Noodles. I'm Frankie Noodles, everybody. I'm Elliot, everyone. What up? This is very hip hop inspired here. A little, yeah, you know. These chili flakes are added to the flour, then pressed into these toilet paper roll of noodles. That's some spicy toilet paper. Just can you just go out? I'm just gonna have a quick moment to myself right here. <laughs> we should get to noodling. Let's right? do it. Bring the noodles across. You're gonna dangle them down, twist it just a little bit, drop it down like that, so it's like a bird's nest. Is the idea as well to look like an old lady from the 16th century? Oh. Yeah, that's the yeah. idea. Grandma Frankie noodles. You want on this? So I used to play with my grandma with food. Grandma noodles and I roll out a full batch, and it's time to head back upstairs with Shin. We drop the chili noodles, and it's time to start prepping the bowl. This is the fury sauce. This is where the fury happens. But you can spice it up and get extra hot, put like three of them in there. You see Brittany, at strings, she went level one. You can get up to a level four, but since I'm a rookie, I'm starting at the bottom. Well, that's weak. You're here for the spicy. That's right, Brett. I just went to three. Moving down the line to the broth. Pick up a full ladle. Whiskey, whiskey, whiskey. <coughs> Two whiskey, whiskey, whiskey. Some like... spice is just going on my nose yeah, right Shane, now. I did my part. I'll let Shin add the toppings while I spice things up with the guests. Spicy to me is all about the flavor. Add a little bit of kick, add a little bit more flavor. You can always add more heat. It should hurt a little bit. Should hurt a little hurt bit. A little bit, not too much, but a little bit. That's a great line. So there is correct etiquette into how to eat ramen. You slurp it down, it helps you eat it faster. He's really attacking that with furious anger. So much spice, a great infusion of flavor. Is it Chicago's best? That's what I'm supposed to ask you. Why well, are you sweating? A gentleman should never ask. I'm from Chicago. I'm only furious because you didn't make me come here sooner. 